Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and as you can see I have a controller in front of me and this isn't your standard console controller although it does look a lot like the Xbox controller. This one here is the SteelSeries Nimbus controller and it basically works with your Apple devices. So your Apple TV fourth generation, your iPhone iPads or iPod Touch and also your Mac. So if you like to console game with a controller but you have a lot of mobile games on your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch this might be a great controller to check out. Now this one here was purchased from Apple, but you can get this all over the place. I'll link you in the description so you can check out other people's reviews, see the price, because it does change, and also decide if this is something you'd like to purchase. So I'm gonna go ahead, unbox this, and also test this out with all of these devices and show you how you can actually game like a console with your mobile devices. Let's get started. So taking a look around the box, first off on the front side, we've got the controller itself and at the bottom you can see the devices it works with. I mentioned that already, the iPad, iPhone, iPod Touch, the Apple TV 4 and your Mac devices. Now with that being said, only games that work with controllers will work with this. I'll show you a few later on, but uh, that's the front side. On the other side here, you just got another little uh, picture of the controller, I guess a side view. On this side here, we have more devices that it works with. Actually, let's go ahead and read that. So again, the only Apple TV it'll work with is the fourth generation. It says the iPhone 6S all the way down to the iPhone 5. So if you have a device that's older than the iPhone 5, apparently this controller won't work for you. The iPad Pro, the iPad Air 2, iPad Air, iPad Mini 4, iPad Mini 3, iPad Mini 2, iPad fourth generation, iPod Touch fifth generation, and sixth generation. So let's go ahead and open this up. It's a pretty simple box here. This isn't actually made by Apple, it just works with Apple devices. That's why you've got a separate link in the description if you wanna check it out. So that's pretty simple. That's how it looks inside. Hopefully you can see the controller. I'll try to get you a good look here. So that's the controller, and there's not too much going on with it. It's pretty much the controller and some paperwork here. So we've got our wireless controller guide and then some stickers, which it seems like everybody's trying to do these stickers these days. So let's go ahead and pull out this control. And that's it for the box. So this is the controller. You can see it looks pretty nice. I like the finish. It's a matte finish with accents of a glossy finish around it. It's pretty nice. You can see it looks a lot like the Xbox controller, which is not a bad thing. That's a great controller. And it also has the concave feel on the thumbsticks here, which is very similar to the PS4 controller. So keep that in mind. Also, you have all your standard buttons, your Y, B, X, A buttons. You have your D-pad, your analog sticks, your menu button in the middle. You've also got these indicators up top, so if you have other controllers connected, it'll show you which player you are, one, two, three, and four. So that's kind of interesting if you're gonna play multiplayer games, I guess. On the top side here, we have our hold button, our charging port, our Bluetooth connectivity button, our L1, L2, R1, R2 buttons, which are pretty standard, and it does feel pretty nice in the hand. So with that being said, let's go ahead and test this out because that's the main thing, comfort and does it work. So we'll go ahead and test this with the Apple TV first. All right, so on screen, you can see the Apple TV. In my hand, I've got the controller and the first thing we wanna do is turn it on. You can see the hold switch here. You see the orange, you wanna flick that to the right so you no longer see the orange and you'll see the little LEDs um, sort of flash, the four LEDs, that means it's on. Once you've done that, open up the settings application on the Apple TV, go down to where it says remotes and devices. And then from here, what we're gonna do is basically scroll down to the Bluetooth section. And then you see the section that says other devices, it's kind of spinning. What you wanna do here now is basically wait. If it doesn't pick up this device, you wanna hold on the little Bluetooth button here where it pairs. So just hold that for a few seconds and it should appear in the other devices section. There it is. Now what we do is just simply scroll down to it and then using your Apple TV remote, just click on it. Pretty simple. So it is a little slow in terms of connecting, but I'm, I'm assuming once it's connected, it's going to be perfect. So the control is connected and I can actually control the screen here. You can see I'm pressing the D-pad and it's controlling. So if I press B, it goes back. So it's, it's almost like using PlayStation or Xbox. I can move around the applications. So let's open up a game here. All right, so this is Asphalt 8 in action. You can see, looks pretty nice. And I'm using the controller here. There's a little lag there, but that's not the controller's fault. And yeah, this looks pretty nice actually for a, a game on the Apple TV. I'm doing a terrible job of driving, but 
You can change up the view of how you view the car. You got your NOS or Nitro just by pressing the A button down there. Also the B button does it too. Wow, it's drifting. So for this next game, I wanna try something and it's actually pretty awesome. So first off, we've got Minecraft Pocket Edition on the iPhone. This will work with all your iOS devices. We'll go ahead and just set up AirPlay here. It's gonna let me. And basically we'll turn that on, we'll mirror it to the Apple TV. And this should allow us to see everything, which it did, perfect. Now hopefully this works out. We'll go ahead and start up the Minecraft game here. We'll go into the world that I'm in. So you can see on screen, you can now see basically the same thing you're seeing on my iPhone. It's dark, but you can see it. And you can see it on the Apple TV as well. I'm using the control here, which works really nice. It works exactly like, well, let me go kill that pig. It works exactly like the PS4 version, which I have. Do I have an axe? There we go, do have an axe. And uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty responsive too. I need that food. There we go. You mean any food? You mean food? No food. Really? Okay, it's all right. But anyway, so let's just check the responsiveness of the blocks as they go down. I know this game um, does take up a lot, like of, I don't even have enough blocks there. Here, we'll use these. Does take up a lot of like uh, RAM and stuff when you're doing this on the computer. But you know, the PS4 version was really nice. And this one here seems pretty good. You can see a little bit of lag. I'm not sure if that's the airplay, but uh, it seems pretty nice. Seems like it's working pretty well. Let's actually put a door up here. Look, you know what? This is really fun. This is actually pretty good. It's just as good as the PS4 version, minus a little bit of lag, very little. And that could be due to a lot of things. Could be airplay, could be uh, the control, not sure. But in terms of how, how much you feel, like you don't really feel it as you're playing. Like it does turn when you press the turn. For example, I'm turning with the right analog stick. It's pretty responsive. Forward, let's try running. Running's great too. Actually, you get, it's even easier running. This is really nice. I'm actually surprised at this. This is great. This is actually really fun. Let's kill somebody. Let's see how that works. I'll probably die. I don't have any armor, I don't think. Let's fight this guy with an axe. A wooden axe versus... Oh, okay, here we go. I think I might... No, I beat him. It's pretty good. So as you saw, this controller does a great job while gaming, whether you're playing Asphalt 8 with the Apple TV 4, or if you're trying to airplay, which I did with the Minecraft Pocket Edition. Now, I honestly didn't think that was going to work. I thought it was going to lag out. It wasn't going to happen. The controller wasn't going to be able to handle it. But you know what? Everything worked out, and it had very little lag, which was surprising. So I'm actually very happy about that, especially if you're into mobile gaming, to be able to put that on the big screen and use a controller, it's almost like turning your mobile device into a console. And some of these mobile games, like there's some shooters and stuff, they're really good, and they can actually compete with the console games now. Comparing this to the PS4 controller, I'm actually going to say I kind of like this a little bit better, not because of the design, but just because of the thumbstick here you can see my ps4 thumbsticks are peeling off and i have to use these little nubs on top of them where this one here feels different it feels solid it feels more like a rubber rather than that whatever it was silicone on the ps4 which just tore off within a few weeks but the controller itself is solid nothing rattles the buttons feel solid when you press them they're not moving around Everything feels very solid and well built. So you're gonna get a good product here that works well, it pairs well with your devices, it lets you take that mobile experience and turn it into an almost console feel. And like I said, everything about it works. So that's the main thing when it comes to these kind of devices. If it works well, feels comfortable, why not? And if it's gonna help you enjoy your gaming, that's even more of a bonus. So check it out for yourself. There's a link in the description. You can check out other people's reviews of this device, check out the price, as well as updates and things like that. So check that out in the description. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought about it. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos and I'll see you guys in the next one.